Okay, um, the two last things I'm going to show you here are how to save data, um, so how to save a data file once you've set it up correctly in SPSS, and then how to calculate some really simple descriptive statistics um, using SPSS, and then how to save the actual output, um, so the results of that analysis. Okay, so first thing, now that we've set the data up correctly, okay, we've told SPSS everything that it needs to know about the different variables that we've recorded here, we can save this data file so we can retrieve it later on and do all sorts of things with it um, whenever we get around to it. So this is another way of storing your data in addition to your sort of original Excel um, data file, you want to save your SPSS data files as well. Um, to do that, you go into File and then Save As, just like any other um, sort of um, uh, browser sort of uh, window here opens up, just like in any other program. You just need to make sure that the data files are saved as .sav. Okay, so don't change the sort of um, the default setting here because that tells SPSS that this is a data file that it can open, and if you click on this, it will automatically open in SPSS as well. So you can give this a name, um, I'm just going to call this example, and then you save it somewhere on your uh, on your computer, wherever you need it. Okay, so then you just click save and it'll, it'll save it to that. So that's relatively simple. Then you have this and whenever you need to retrieve it, um, you can do that um, by just double clicking on it or you open um, SPSS and just um, browse for the actual file. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is calculate some simple descriptive statistics with this. And if you remember um, from, uh, from our lectures, um, we would calculate for anything which is um, a number, we can calculate either an average and a standard deviation, or we can calculate a median with interquartile range and range. Those are the different types of things we can do. When we have nominal variables, we can also look at a mode. That wouldn't make much sense in this case because we know that we have five males and five females here, so there isn't actually um, a mode in this case. There isn't one which is more common than another because this is what we've kind of um, decided to, co to compare between. Okay, And um, when I say decided to compare between, that should ring a, a bell for you because basically that means that this here is our independent variable, okay? What we want to do using our descriptive statistics is we want to compare these measurements in terms of their central tendency and their dispersions between these two different groups, okay? We have five males and five females, and we want to compare the heights and the foot sizes between those two groups using our descriptive statistics, okay? So this here is our independent variable, and we have two dependent variables that we've collected here. And in order to calculate these simple descriptive statistics, we simply need to go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then we go into Explore, because this gives us the option to input an independent variable that we compare between, okay? So we click Explore, and then you have several things here in this pop-up window that appears. You have all of your different variables right here, and you might be able to see that it actually gives you the label as well as the name of the variable here. Um, and you have a dependent list and a factor list. Now, the dependent list that also already says it in the name, those are the variables that you want to calculate your descriptive statistics for, your dependent variables. So what we throw in here by highlighting them over here and then clicking this arrow, or you can also double click, um, no, you can't, sorry. Um, if you then um, select the arrow, it basically throws these two over in our dependent list. Now, the factor list, this is where we can specify what we want to compare these descriptives between. Okay, so this is where we input our independent variable. And in this case, that is the sex of the, of the subjects. So we throw that in here. And then we basically just have to make sure that we have um, all the statistics that we want to get um, highlighted. Um, you can get several different plots as well that can be created from your descriptive statistics. For now, we just want to get some statistics. Um, we can actually check what it does here. It does all of the descriptives. There are a few other options. For example, we can ask it to tell us whether there are outliers. We can get it to actually display the percentiles. Those are your Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay, for now, all we want is just the sort of very simple descriptive statistic outcomes. And once you've, you've selected all of this, you just simply click OK. And what will happen is that all of this, um, the output, the results of what you've asked it to do, will appear in your output window. 
And remember, you've got two windows, windows for SPSS. This is where you have your data, and this is where all of your results will be displayed. And this is essentially what you get. You have um, um, a sort of uh, processing, a summary that tells you um, you have heights and you have foot lengths for five males and five females. So it basically has just counted how many cases you have in each. This is your N, your sample size. Okay. And then down here, you get your different descriptives. And read these tables really carefully because they actually split all of the descriptors up into you have your heights and you have those descriptors for male and female separately. So you can actually compare here, for example, you have the average as the average height of males, 178.9, whereas the average height of females is 163.2. Okay. And then if you go further down, you see all sorts of things um, amongst which is the median. That's another important one. You have the standard deviation down here, and you also have a range and an interquartile range. And then you have the same here for the foot length. Okay. So as a quick task before you finish, just write down on a piece of paper um, which um, measures of dispersion um, go with which um, uh, um, central tendency. Okay, so write down for each central tendency, that's the mean and the median, which dispersion goes with those, and write those down, the actual values out of this table for the height and the foot sizes compared between the males and then the females as well. And then think about what kind of graph you would create with this, with these different um, descriptive statistics. And then you're done for the day.